This morning, one of the fishermen killed an electric eel. It was over two meters long. Um, apparently they kill them with a machete. If you hit them quick enough, they don't get a chance to shock you, which is a hell of a risk to take. It can kill you if you get that. And I guess that's why they kill them, because they don't really eat them around here. They kill them because they're scared of them. But I insist we eat this one. The other reason they don't eat them is because there's not much meat on them. You just get a, a thin strip of meat at the top and, and the rest is a huge amount of, of white jelly. It's called the main organ and it's a big part of what enables the eels to generate the massive voltage that they use to disable their prey. They spend most of their time hidden away in chambers in the mud, surfacing every 20 minutes or so to breathe air at the surface. This ability to breathe air means they can live just about anywhere, in swamps or tiny streams, and they can even cross land when their pools dry up. We made a patarashka, a fish wrapped in leaves. We're gonna open these up and uh, we're gonna see what they taste like. What little meat there is is full of long bones of all shapes and sizes. You can see why people are not big on eating them, but it tastes okay. It kind of tastes like canned tuna. For the record, I don't recommend eating electric eels or tuna. All the fish we eat should be from sustainable fisheries.